Hello guys, today we're going to talk about uh, Excel and in Excel we're going to talk about formula so formula is part of ribbon like all like all these else like file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review and view are all part of ribbon so each so each of these are called tabs like file tab, home tab insert tab blah 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 so in the home tab there's sub tabs like clipboard is a sub tab of home font is a sub tab of home and today we're going to talk about formulas and its sub tabs so in formulas we have function library define names formula editing and calculations uh, as you can see right here function library Define names, formula editing, and calculations. So in function library, first thing first, we're going to talk about insert function, out of sum, and excerpt. There are many more. So let me just write some numbers. Uh, let me say 5, 1, 100, 29, 99. 79, 99, and 0. Okay, you know what? Let me just take the 0 out. Okay, and uh, so insert function has a, a lot of formulas. And you could also select your categories, like most, most recently used, all, financial, and today I'm just going to talk about math. I'm just going to go over math and trick. So, math and trick, we have cosine cotangent and many more and so today I'm going to show you on sum so right now I want to sum all of these like 5 1 124 79 99 I don't know what's the formula I mean I don't know what's um, um, the sum of that numbers and I don't have a calculator with me uh, so let's just so you just choose an empty box under all these six and of course go do whatever kind of formula you want to use like some addition subtraction anything and right now it is b1 and b6 so it's like b1 is 5 so you can see 5 b2 is 1 1 and b6 is 99 99 and I press ok and this is the sum of all these six numbers so that's the point of insert function and out of sum is more basic and more of what people use every day in their life so of course people use sum average and counting their numbers maximum and minimum so I'm going to find average of all these six numbers and press enter so 51.33333 is the average of all these six numbers. So right now, let's just say there are 50 numbers. Uh, like I have, maybe I have a, uh, like a, a homework to do for my math class. And there are 50 equations. I mean, I have 50 numbers. And it tells me to choose which is the lowest number possible on that 15 in that 15 number frame so it's pretty hard to go through every number so if you just type all the all the numbers in this and just press minimum and enter so of course one is the lowest number and it's six numbers so that's it I mean it just helps you a lot let's just say that and recently used is most commonly used in recently used by my computer or by me with the, in this computer and these are the recently used and if you want more you can just go to insert functions but as you can see most recently used is also here recently used and there is also financial financial logical logical if you go more down it says text text and you could also use more more of 
like complex functions like statistics or engineering cubes more complex versions but these are all part of insert function and they are basic I mean they are divided into c categories more easier I guess and the second thing is define names so in define names we have name manager and define name I don't know why I say names but I'm sorry so what name manager does is it kind of organizes all your let's say numbers into um, like it organizes it for example I know these all six are part of sum like I want to add these six numbers so I just say sum in the name and I'll if I have any more comments I'll just write there and you could also use sheet one or workbook and choose from which you want to uh, put the sum on and just say okay so right now I just organized it and so I'm adding these six numbers it says b1 to b7 so it just more um, so if I, if I have more numbers like if I have every six numbers in every row in every column it just confuses me so I just know which one is some which one I'm multiplying which one I'm adding and subtracting etc so that's the point of name manager and define name is same thing as name manager but if you want to edit it you just press define name so these two are also editing ones in name manager but name manager is overall thing with these three okay next thing formula auditing in this we have tracing tracing removing and checking so here is formula editing and we have tracing tracing trace dependence remove your arrows show formulas error check in and evaluate the formula so uh, let me just do auto sum for this sum and of course 308 I'm going to select all of these so you want to trace precedence so all these numbers made this 308 right then just the, these three numbers so you just how it is so for example if I had 24 79 99 after this 308 and I just found this as some of these three numbers it just going to show these three and the other three numbers are just included as random but if I don't want errors I could just remove the errors remove for percent errors or dependent errors to your choice and you could also show your formula sum b1 is to 6 if you choose to uh, normally if you make any error mistake this error symbol and uh, check mark is gonna appear right next to this B column or what or whatever column you ha had your numbers and the formula in. and you could also do the error checking and trace where the error is right now there's no error so there's no error check for this and you could also evaluate your formula which is more like basic evaluating where the formula is in each part of this formula and it's like step by step or you could also watch your window by adding these cells to a watch window list so you could keep an eye on the um, on how you updated your text last but not least calculation so in calculation we have calculation now and other things so I'm going to go over it. Here's calculation. So your calculation option, you could do it automatically, or you could do it automatic, but just not data tables. Or you could do it manually. So calculate now. If you want to use that, you have to turn off your automatic calculation. You need the same thing like I just did sum, but this time you use a calculator. And you also can have a calculator sheet. Uh, you can calculate the active sheet right now. And this is the 
and and these are the formulas it's gonna go quickly so in function library we have how to use a formula and how to create one and all these else are part of insert function but they're just categories it's divided in and define names is how you organize your text formula editing is showing like error check-in and tracing where your number is evaluating your formula and calculation is just calculating manually or automatically it's up to your choice and thank you for watching